The Supreme Court's ruling on legalized gambling already paying off for one company. In just the last hour, bookmaker Patty Power Betfair announcing it will buy online fantasy sports betting service FanDuel. Services like these are in a unique position since they already have a strong foothold in the sports gambling market. So what does this mean for rival DraftKings? Could they be bought next? Let's bring in Jason Robbins, CEO of DraftKings. Jason, good to see you again. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. A lot has happened, uh, even in just a short amount of time since the Supreme Court had its ruling, Jason. So you take a look at this deal. Um, do you think that you need scale in this space in order to compete? That's what this deal seems to imply. Uh, I think this is a deal that made, they felt made sense for them, and uh, you know we're very happy for them. It's always good to see interest and activity in the industry. Uh, you know, I think that without knowing the individual circumstances of the company, it's hard to say exactly what the thinking behind the deal was, but I think it clearly is something they felt made sense for them. A lot of your early investors, I mean, I've spoken to Rick Heitzman on, on Fast Money recently, they expect an IPO. And so does this move up the timeline at all, or is it, is it your preference to IPO or to sell the company? Uh, our preference has always been to IPO, but we're open to different outcomes. I don't think this changes the timeline at all. I think the Supreme Court decision, if anything, is going to have a much bigger effect on what we're thinking about in terms of timing. But, um, you know, we like to really focus on our own path and what we can control. And obviously, it's always good to, to see what others are doing and to keep an eye and to be informed. But, you know, I think it would be a mistake if we let it really affect our decision making around timing for an IPO or any other sort of uh, strategic transaction. Did Patty Power approach you? Has anybody else approached you, especially in the wake of the decision by the Supreme Court? Uh, I should probably not get into that. We generally uh, have confidentiality with any discussions we're having, but there's a lot of activity going on right now, so you can imagine, uh, you know, everybody's kind of talking to everybody at this point. In terms of your priorities, priorities Jason, I mean, the, the Supreme Court ruling has probably given you a lot to work on in terms of uh, rolling out sports betting across the country, especially in states that already have existing legislation. Um, but one of the fastest growing areas uh, in sports betting is in eSports, and, and we're going to have a segment on Fortnite. And I'm wondering if you're taking a look at this phenomenon and, and you think, we got to get on this bandwagon. We've got to expand that platform. We have fantasy eSports. It's been actually uh, our fastest growing sport in the last year. So. Uh, still small relative to the professional uh, major sports leagues, but very fast growing and obviously a huge area of interest for a number of different stakeholders. Fortnite, we have not launched yet, but we actually just the other day had a discussion about that. And um, we haven't made up our, our mind on exactly what we're going to do there yet, but I agree with you. I think esports betting is going to be a really important part of the industry. What about sports betting in general? I mean, if you won't comment on deals, how else, Jason, are you repositioning the company now in the wake of that game-changing Supreme Court decision? Well, you know, when the first uh, announcement that the Supreme Court was taking this up happened in the summer of 2017, uh, you know, no pun intended, we made a big bet. We decided to shift a very large chunk of our product and engineering resources to building a sports book product. So we've been working on that for almost a year at this point. Uh, obviously, you know, a lot of the things that we'd already built, the compliance systems, the payments, all that was very applicable. So. Uh, you know, we didn't have to build everything from scratch, but we've been working on this product for almost a year at this point and feel very excited about the position we're in. And, uh, you know, for us, it's really just about finding the right partners now to, to bring it to market. People will help us on the licensing and distribution side. And there's been no shortage of interest there. So, uh, you know, we're looking forward to how this all unfolds. Jason, great to speak with you. Thanks for your time. Jason Robbins. Thanks for having me. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.